Introducing Embryonic AI. One of the great mysteries of human life is how a human being can be formed from a single microscopic cell. The human body is composed of trillions of living cells. How does one cell and the pluripotent stem cells that follow replicate ever and over again with the cells branching out like the limbs of a tree, making all the thousands of cell types of a human being? Once the generation of a human being is complete, the cells fundamentally change. Put simply, they normally lose the ability to repeat the process of embryogenesis. Why? It is possible they turn off regenerative potential as a way of lowering the risk of cancer later in life. Whatever the reason, the consequence of blocking the potential for regeneration is that tissues scar rather than regenerate. Unlocking this embryonic regenerative power an ability retained in some organisms that can profoundly regenerate damaged tissues could transform medicine. People with serious injuries, age-related degenerative disease, or even cancer could potentially benefit from understanding how to reactivate this regenerative potential. Deciphering the genes behind the mechanisms of embryonic development may even unlock the ability of tissues to regenerate themselves without the use of cell transplantation. This still conceptual technology is called Induced Tissue Regeneration, or ITR. However, after decades of research and billions of dollars in government and private funding, we are only now seeing the beginning of clinical trials of products made from embryonic stem cells, or IPS cells. Years of experiments resulted in massive amounts of data from millions of experiments performed on different equipment types and with different experimental settings and deposited in many heterogeneous and often incompatible databases. There are many attempts to link and centralize access to data in these databases and resources like gene cards and life map discovery are gaining in popularity. However, to make effective use of this data in the context of embryonic stem cells, there needs to be a gold standard gene expression dataset, which can be used as a substrate to perform quality control, normalize and harmonize this data. In silico, collaborating with Biotime, one of the leaders in regenerative medicine, leveraged Biotime's heavy invest in thousands of microarray experiments of embryonic compared to fetal and adult cells, all performed on a single platform in a controlled setting. The collaboration utilized a technique called deep learning to develop a specialized artificial intelligence engine, which can recognize, classify, and annotate biological samples by their developmental state. This system, called Embryonic AI, is an ensemble of deep neural networks trained on thousands of carefully selected samples from Biotime and from public domain, and even helped identify sets of genes that can be used as markers of different embryonic and adult differentiation states. It uses resources of LifeMap and Biotime to constantly learn and improve its performance. The first version of Embryonic AI will be freely available online for scientists from all over the world to test their samples for embryonic state and signature and perform quality control of their gene expression datasets. Fueled by rapid advances in GPU computing and increases in structured data, the field of artificial intelligence is rapidly evolving. Embryonic AI system will be constantly updated with new reasoning features tested and added. In the future, this system may help develop therapeutic interventions targeting a broad range of diseases including cancer, CNS pathologies, and even loss of regenerative capacity during aging. Please visit Embryonic AI and challenge it to analyze the embryonic state of your samples.